we got an 8 a.m. start meeting Lacey for breakfast. Lacey could always look so happy. Okay, Tiger, lay some words on. <laughs> How do you like my name tag? Pretty good. Where did you get it? Right in there. The very nice lady recognized I didn't know what I was doing. Uh-huh. Grandma laying some words on Lacey. I'm Lacey's other grandpa. Here's my name card to prove it. Tiger and Grandma observing. Dans les cantines, qu'est-ce que c'est la cantine Hein Qu'est-ce que c'est la cantine uh, Cafétéria. Cafétéria, ok, bien. C'est comme ça qu'on appelle la cafétéria de l'école en France, la cantine. Ok, très bien. On sert le couscous aujourd'hui, on le sert, you could say. On le sert, one serves it. On le sert dans les restaurants 3 étoiles et dans les cantines. Bien. Question numéro 4. Quel cadeau peut-on apporter quand on dîne chez des Français Quel cadeau peut-on apporter quand on dîne chez des Français Lucie um, On apporte des bonbons ou des fleurs. On peut apporter des bonbons ou des fleurs. Bien. Quel cadeau peut-on apporter On peut apporter des bonbons ou des fleurs. Exact. Big smile directed at Tiger and Brown. <laughs> the atmosphere, well, how you are feeling, the surrounding, the atmosphere. L'ambiance du restaurant. Mm -hmm. hein, dans ce restaurant, il y a une bonne ambiance. Ok. Oui? Play my game. Les merguez. They tell you what it is. They explain no. it to you. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Oh, um. Yes, they do. Les merguez, oh. comme oh. des petites saucisses rouges oh. pimentées, comme when you have something between two commas, doesn't it mean it's a, you know, specifying la position, ok? Les merguez, petites saucisses rouges pimentées sont vendues dans toutes les boucheries, dans les sortes, ok? Autre chose? works better than me, you know, comparison and superlatives in like that. So we're going to learn how you say that in, in, in French. We have three words that we use, that are used for that. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Voilà. Okay. We have plus, que, moins, que, et aussi, Okay. All right. <coughs> Alors, par exemple, euh, Catherine, est-ce que tu peux lire la première phrase, si tu Les comparaisons en français sont formées en plaçant les mots plus, moins, et aussi que avant l'adjectif ou l'adverbe et que après l'adverbe. Alors, 
Oui, de, lis le premier exemple. Simone. Uh, non, non, uh, lis le premier exemple. Simone est plus abri que son non. abri. Non, lis ce qu'il dit. Non, en français. Je l'ai Non, tu ne l'as pas. Tu ne l'as pas lu correctement. Simone est plus, plus abri. Non, ce n'est pas abri. Non. Agé. G, E, mais G, ok? Nina est aussi indépendante qu'Anne. As independent as Anne. Aussi que, ok? Euh, Emma, oui, de Nixon, il m'écrit. Elle joue au golf aussi bien qu'Anne. Elle joue au golf aussi bien qu'Anne, ok? All right, so that's basically, that's all there is to the comparative. Plus que, moins que. Aussi que. Un nouveau quartier. Tu veux lire, euh, Wapeu, s'il te plaît uh, so you want me to read the next one? I think that's what I said. Ok, so prepare some questions and you're going to ask them to the class and then the person is going to answer. For example, est-ce que le jambon est moins cher au supermarché ou à la charcuterie est-ce que le jambon est moins cher au supermarché ou à la charcuterie? Did you understand everybody what I said? <coughs> the price of bread has been regulated since the French Revolution so that everybody can eat bread. And so the price of bread is the same. If it's the same type of bread, it's the same everywhere. No matter where you buy it. Une autre question. What you are doing now is reviewing the vocabulary as well That's as so you know, paying attention to, to what you are comparing. You have com to compare apples and apples, right? You know, are the oranges cheaper than the apples at the store? Well, uh, you know, doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, au revoir, bon weekend. Okay, you have your homework for... Uh, <laughs> Now this is your room, and your ro your roommate's name is Sovereign Emily Duong. Duong, Emily Duong, D W O N G. D U O N G. D U O N G. Okay. And she's from Riverside. Oh, huh. okay. Now when are we gonna meet Emma Pope? Um, I don't know. Now what do you have? Do you have a class? Uh, no, I have a free period right now, so I don't have class until, uh, um, 11.25. What's, what's that? that? What is that? 11.25. I have math. Math? What math? Um, geometry. Geometry? I see you've got a geometry textbook there. Yeah. Yeah. How do you like it? It's good. Oh, are you doing all these? Are you? Is it geometry one or? I only yeah, so have just, one geometry. Huh? I think we only have one geometry.
Oh, is it, so then you go on into pre-algebra. Yeah. Mean pre algebra two. It's number five, uh, that whole set of problems. You could just cross multiply and say that AD is equal to um, BC, is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So then a bunch of other questions can, came up in that worksheet on the ratios. Here I have AB over CD. Is that the same thing as B over A equals C over D? Can I just flip these two things and say they're equal? I just think about that for a second. Is that equivalent to the one up top? In other words, I flip flop the A and the D. Yeah. 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 Okay. One of the things that that worksheet was working on is looking at all the skills of recognizing sort of the number manipulation of ratios. Uh, then we had what? Um, five over X. Five over X. And we had uh, Y. Oh, we have the ten over Y. Is this looking kind of familiar or something that we did lately with numbers? Yeah, all those sides have to be proportional. They all have to equal one fifth. So if this is five, I had to multiply that by five, what would x have to be? Twenty-five. Mid-afternoon break. While Lacey explained to Tiger how to use his brand new antique Polaroid camera. Later, Lacey showed Grandma and me around to see some of the beautiful vistas of Kate. The mountains on one side and the Pacific Ocean on the other. This is what the students look out on from the dining room. By late afternoon, Lacey was beginning to get a little bit impatient to get over to IHOP, but she did wait patiently while we got to see the sunset. Wait a minute, chocolate, what? Okay, young lady. What uh, she's gonna order. Is it possible to have um, chocolate blueberry pancakes with bananas on the side? No, no. Well, Let's see. Chocolate what? Chocolate blueberry pancakes with bananas on the side. Chocolate blueberry. Now, anything's possible. <laughs> I don't know if it sounds good, but... <laughs> Remember the bananas on the side. Oh, got to... Hey, you know what? <laughs> Chocolate don't, blueberry. Don't be don't uh don't come in between a, a, a girl and her uh bananas. <laughs> what do you want to drink? This water. Okay, last chance. Chocolate blueberry pancakes. With a side of banana. <laughs> what was the best thing that this. happened to you <clears throat> this weekend? Um what do you Visiting Aunt Bika. Visiting Aunt Bika Bika and anybody else? Adam. Adam. Okay. Even though we did not go to their restaurant. Mm -hmm. What is the second best thing that happened to you this weekend? Um, I don't know. It's been pretty fun, I guess. Doing what? It's been pretty fun, I guess. Just the weekend in general. Seemed pretty fun, you guess. It's a bunch of bananas. Well, it's already given that it's grandparents' weekend. <laughs> it wasn't as bad as you thought it was going to be, is what you mean to say. No.
Bye now.